President Biden with a stark warning for Americans who choose not to get the COVID-19 vaccine. He says, quote, they will end up paying the price, even as the CDC continues to face backlash over shifting guidelines for all Americans. And despite the good news, and I want to say it again, good news, they didn't lead with this. COVID-19 cases are now down in all 50 states. The president cautions that those numbers could tick up again. And he's already blaming states where Americans may choose not to get vaccinated. Watch. If the unvaccinated get vaccinated, they will protect themselves and other unvaccinated people around them. If they do not, states with low vaccination rates may see those rates go up, may see this progress reversed. Ultimately, those who are not vaccinated will end up paying the price. Meanwhile, the confusion over mask wearing is raging. As states and cities and businesses are left to sort it all out through that maze of CDC guidelines, Joe Concha, a Fox News contributor and media and politics columnist for The Hill, joins me now. So it seems like a missed opportunity. Boy, they don't know how to market this. So you've got people across the country by the millions fully vaccinated now. You don't lead with the good news? that the cases are down in 50 states? That makes no sense. Oh, and I've got some good news to share here, uh, Harris. But first, when the president says paying the price, if everybody doesn't get vaccinated, let's look at what's going on in Texas, because it really is remarkable, and it's a good news story. Down there, 33% of the state is fully vaccinated, just 33%. Yet on Sunday, the state had 0.0 coronavirus deaths. And if you recall, March 10th is when that governor, Governor Abbott, Republican, lifted those mass mandates, as they did in Mississippi. The president of the United States said that that was Neanderthal thinking, said it was very dangerous. Dr. Fauci also echoed those statements, as did the CDC. In Mississippi on Sunday, there were zero COVID deaths. So we should be making note of that, that there is tremendous progress being made. You say so, cases are down. We're talking in that state, 85, 90 percent in terms of hospitalizations and cases. It really is something that you're right, should be a lead story. Well, and look, you, you mentioned it and we can just pull it up so that everybody can remember for themselves President Biden and what he said back in March. OK. I think it's a big mistake. Look. Thank you. I hope everybody's realized by now these masks make a difference. And the last thing, the last thing we need is the Neanderthal thinking that in the meantime, everything's fine. Take off your mask. Forget it. Well, and, and Joe, what you were saying was that Texas reported zero deaths from COVID for the first time on Sunday and that those cases and hospitalizations are down at all time lows during the pandemic. Governor Abbott reacted to that a short time ago. I still have not yet received a phone call or an apology uh, from the president uh, for his mischaracterization uh, of my actions. All the liberals and all the media in the state of Texas um, issued the same uh, declaration. Some people said that I had issued a death warrant. Uh, And here's the difference. Uh, The the people on the Democrat side, they want to push narratives, whereas what I was looking at was both math and science. First of all, your reaction to that, I have a quick follow. Uh, Well, apologies are not in the DNA of most politicians, uh, particularly this president. So don't hold your breath waiting for that particular call. But remember what Texas is, the second largest state in terms of population in the country, 30 million people, 4 million more than Australia. And the last thing we need from the president is for him to be leaving church on Sunday outside with a mask while he's fully vaccinated or on a Zoom call with world leaders fully vaccinated, wearing a mask. Uh, So, yeah, talk about wrong messaging. It comes from the president of the United States and the CDC director as well, who has been all over the place on this in terms of mask mandates and exactly what you can and cannot do, Harris. So let's just go for just a quick second to where some of this conversation started against vaccinations, because, you know, our vice president likes to get to the root causes of things. And I remember when Kamala Harris was saying that if it came from Trump's administration, if it came from Trump, she wouldn't be vaccinated. And of course, that got a whole lot of people talking about, well, I guess it's politicized now. What is the irony that when you look at states like New Jersey and others, 70 percent vaccinated, that yes, all across the country now, people are making their decisions about what to do. And many of them are getting vaccinated. Many of them, we don't know who they voted for, but maybe she comes out and gives an apology. I mean, since people are asking for them. 
And I couldn't believe at the time, Harris, that not one journalist, not anybody questioning Kamala Harris when she actually was well, available, I did, pushed back on that. But we couldn't get of course access you did. to her. So, I mean, I was That's like shouting I mean. into the wind. Yeah. I mean, people actually speaking to her directly when she made that statement at a vice presidential debate, yeah. for example, how do you not say, well, what do you mean Trump's vaccine? This is Pfizer's vaccine. This is Moderna's vaccine. J&J, &J, you're insulting this the is good America's people at that, those companies vaccine. that are working their butt off to put yeah. those things out. Exactly. So uh, the, the, the push, no pushback together. and no apologies coming from Kamala Harris either. She barely speaks anyway. So it, what, what do we expect?